Just mention the word mammogram and you get a reaction. Many breast cancer survivors and doctors are still angry about the study that questioned whether yearly mammograms are in fact necessary. And others will talk to you about the unpleasant experience of getting a mammogram. Now something exciting, a new and improved mammogram. It is said to be pain-free, but more importantly, it can help radiologists pinpoint cancer in its earliest stages. There are 10 clinical trials going on across the country, including Colorado. My mother and my mother's mother both died of breast cancer. My this had... is personal for Jean Scott, her choice to participate in a clinical trial at Envision Sally Job. Here's the muscle, the pectoralis muscle, here's the skin. Dr. Laura Barkey is a radiologist who is leading the trial at Sally Job involving digital breast tomosynthesis. This technology allows mammography to go to the next level. It creates what you might call a 3D mini-movie, looking at all angles of the breast. You know, like a slice of bread, you'll see the end of the bread, and then you'll see something in the middle of it, and then you'll go back to the other end. So, essentially, we're looking through the breast in all different slices. And it's exciting that they're now exploring a new technology that could improve early detection. This in-depth view is expected to be a better way to find tumors in dense breasts, especially common in younger women. It definitely has some potential. Dr. Barkey can't talk about when results from the trial will be released. FDA approval is still pending. Without a doubt, though, it is promising. Around here, you see fatty tissue. If you can separate that tissue from other dense slices, you may be able to say it's just related to dense fibroglands or tissue that's normal in the patient. So that's one of the hopes. Another tool in the effort to detect breast cancer and hopefully save lives, one applauded by participants who personally understand. So I watched her suffer, and I'm very cognizant of the impact that breast cancer has on an individual emotionally as well as physically. And again, digital tomosynthesis is not FDA approved just yet, but a previous study at the University of Pennsylvania Medical Center found it also reduced the recall rate for cancer-free exams by 30 percent. And the emotional impact of a false positive test can be significant, so that's important as well. That's amazing. I know. Boy, I'd love that for all the women in my life. And yeah, you, so ul ultrasound, well, you said ultrasound, ultrasound is good. Ultrasound is a good option as well, too. And, and, you know, when we talk about dense breasts, people assume it's always a younger woman. Some women just have them a lot, if their whole entire lives. So this is just really great technology if they can get there. And, and the people at Sally Job explained it to me is that they don't agree to do a clinical trial unless they really feel very confident that this is going to get Good FDA prospect. approval. Well, that was amazing. Those because they really don't killed. want patients or anyone to have to go I've been through, through that false positive thing that's with, with other good. people in my no. life. Well, that's really scary. All right.